Hello gamers, Usual Uploader here. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and install the CMU emulator on your Android mobile and play Tekken Tag Tournament 2 or other Wii U games on your phone natively, fully offline. The recent update of the CMU emulator, version 0.3, brings a lot of compatibility improvements. Now, even MediaTek mobiles can play these games. So, just follow the video till the end, step by step, if you want to install the emulator and play your favorite games. The first step is to go to the link given in my description or pinned comments and download this 30 megabyte file. After downloading the file, go to the Play Store and download Z Archiver. After it's installed, open it and go to the folder where you have downloaded the file and extract the file into archive name. It will ask for the password and the password will be revealed in the video at some point. Just watch the full video until end. After extraction, go to the extracted folder and install the CMU 0.3 APK. After installation, go back and open CMU emulator. After opening, the interface will look empty. Click the three dots in the upper right corner and go to Settings, then General Settings, and then hit Add Game Path and choose the folder where you have downloaded your game's ROM file. Press Use this folder and allow. Now go back and click the three dots again and go to the Open CMU folder and open it with Files app. After getting inside CMU folder, delete the already existed title keys.txt. Now go to the extracted folder which we have downloaded before and select title.txt file and select copy to. Then again, go to the CMU folder from side panel and paste this file here. Again, go to settings and go to input settings. Then select controller one and select Wii U gamepad. After this, go back and go to graphics settings and custom driver. You can install other turnip drivers, but in my case, system driver is giving more performance than other drivers. So I will go with the default system driver. You can also change the screen scaling to stretched if you like. Now go back and go to Overlay Settings. Click Position and select Top Left so we can see the game's FPS on our screen. OK, everything is done. Now just close the emulator once and open it again and your game will become visible in the interface. Now let's dive into the gameplay. I am selecting my wireless controller to control the game. You can also use touchscreen gamepad. Kindly subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more games testings. Thank you. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, <laughs> 
Battle. 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 